Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very interesting topic, a topic that we don't discuss often and uh, we'll be talking about the impact of color psychology in marketing. First of all, thank you very much for watching this video and I'm excited to decode um, the mesmerizing language of colors in the marketing. Did you know that up to 90% of an initial impression comes from color, according to an article in HubSpot? And they also say that, you know, color can increase brand awareness and recognition by 80%. 93% of buyers make their purchasing decision based on visual alone. Now, those are some important statistics and before we plunge into the hues and shades you know let's talk a little bit about the challenges that we face and the questions that are raised through these statistics you know can you recall a brand whose color scheme instantly resonates with you and evoke specific emotion what about as a tech marketer, how do you navigate the challenge of aligning color psychology with the inherently rational nature of tech products? Third, in a multicultural market, in a diverse segment and global audience, how can businesses ensure that their color choices are universally appealing and culturally sensitive? I think tech marketers face distinctive challenges, right? First one is to balance rationality with emotion, striking the right balance between the rational appeal of tech products and the emotional impact of colors can be a challenge. Ensuring that color choices resonate universally and are culturally acceptable, culturally sensitive. Uh, they pose a significant challenge, you know, especially in diverse markets. And how do you maintain consistent color representation across various digital platforms and devices? It can be daunting and um, impacting brand coherence. You know, one of the ways is to establish guidelines for consistent color representation across digital platforms, right? Ensuring a harmonious brand presence. Second is, um, you know, leverage cultural insights and market research. Uh, you can work with some experts to align color choices with the diverse preferences of our target audience. Third is crafting narrative around tech products that evoke emotions, use storytelling or a relatable narrative allowing the color palette to complement the storytelling journey one of my favorite tools um, for mastering the color psychology is the color wheel you know you can use um, color wheels like adobe uh, adobe color wheels to discover color schemes that resonate with your brand's personality and values and of course you can do color psychology testing right you can use tools that enable color psychology testing you know allowing you to analyze the emotional impact of different color um, and their schemes with your audiences also you can do a cross device color calibration right employer uh, cross device color calibration tools to ensure that your chosen colors display uh, consistently across various uh, platforms and devices um, that's all i have for you to, but i would uh, love to hear back uh, from you on uh, your experience with the role of color in your brand right and if you find this video helpful um, hit the like button subscribe uh, for more content like this and um, share it with your uh, fellow marketers until next time uh, thank you and look forward to seeing you in the next video bye bye